by closing the cap on the resin bottle, pulling the resin bottle out. Next, we open the printer and note that it says close the cover. Move the wiper and then slide it back to remove it. Set it aside in the tray and now slide the entire tray back. When removing the tray, be careful not to spill and do not touch the bottom. Verify that resin has not spilled on the glass and wipe the outside if necessary. Beginning with a new tray, we set it down, again being careful not to touch the bottom. Remove the protective cover. Remove the wiper and place the tray in the printer. Once it's seated in the holes, using two thumbs we slide it into place until it locks. Take the wiper, find the wiper controller, place the wiper in the slot, and using your thumbs, push it into place. Carefully check that the wiper slides. Now close the hood. The tray replacement is complete and we have the material. Starting with a new material bottle, we begin by removing the pinch valve cover. Next, remove the tape. Place the bottle in the printer and open the valve. Take the wiper and move it over to the receiving side of the tray. Take the tray cover and place it over the wiper and secure it in place. Remember not to touch the bottom of the tray or accidentally gouge the glass. Your tray is now ready for storage. Keep it out from sources of UV light. Remember that trays cannot be shared with different material, but the trays can be reused any number of times until they wear out. Trays are consumable items. This has been the EOD Toolbox video on 3D printer maintenance. Be sure to visit www.eodtoolbox.com slash forums for more information and expert advice. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.